Hello and welcome to Star Trek is Life. In this video we'll take a look at the Borg physiology. This will be part one of a two-part series, so let's go ahead and get started. The Borg were a pseudo-species of cybernetic beings or cyborgs from the Delta Quadrant. No single individual truly existed in the Borg collective. As all Borgs were linked to a hive mind which collected all of them and allowed information from every drone who had ever been brought into the collective to be shared. Their ultimate goal was the attainment of perfection through the forcible assimilation of diverse sentient species, technologies, and knowledge that would be added and absorbed into the hive mind. As a result, the Borg were among the most powerful and feared entities in the galaxy without really being a true species at all. The physiology of each Borg drone varied according to the species from which it was assimilated. Drones were typically humanoid, although the collective demonstrated a willingness to assimilate non-humanoid life forms. Upon assimilation, a drone ceased to grow body hair and developed an ashen grayish skin coloration, ignoring original skin pigmentation. Cybernetic implants were either surgically attached to the body or grown internally by nanoprobes injected into the bloodstream. In certain cases, these implants could cause severe skin irritation. The nature of these implants varied from drone to drone, depending on the drone's intended function, but basic nodes of interlink for communications with the collective and a myroneural cortical array to control movements were implemented in every drone. In most cases, an eye would be replaced with an eye piece that improved vision and an arm would be amputated altogether to make room for a functional prosthetic. In technical drones, a weapon would be included, and some drones had medical toolkits to heal other drones who had minor injuries. The implants of a fully assimilated drone allowed it to function for extended periods without shelter, food, water, or even air. It could even survive in the vacuum of space. Lily Sloan, a human observer local to Earth on the 21st century, characterized Borg drones as bionic zombies after hearing a description of them, albeit before observing them directly. And that, my Star Trekker friends, is part one of a two-part series discussing the Borg physiology. If you appreciate the information presented in this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. And remember, Star Trek is life.